Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to what is the opening day of the 16th European Championships. 55 UEFA member states tried their hand at becoming the finest of them all. Now we are left with the 24 who have made it to these finals. Opening day certainly has a special feel to it. The atmosphere combustible but joyous as we usher in a new era for this competition together with the hopes and aspirations of all that take part. Worth reminding ourselves too that 2020 is the 60th birthday of these championships and it is for that special reason that the competition is being held right across the continent. This one of the great amphitheatres of the game. You are welcome to it and indeed to one of the grandest fixtures. Well, that was impressive. Match that. So it is upon us, their opening game, and what they hope will be the first of many fine games in this championship. All I hope is that these nations, as well as the players, of course, can make a good account of themselves. And I also like the fact that such excitement isn't just something that one host country has the monopoly of. It's shared by so many people across the continent, literally, and that certainly created a, an extra special buzz. And as you can see, we've already started here. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Yeah, Leonardo Bonucci. He's as imposing as they come, Peter. And he knows just how to use his, his physical attributes to make life difficult for attackers. He's also got a very good eye for a killer long ball. So, don't be surprised if you see him launch a few counter-attacks for his team today. Yeah, I must agree, especially in view of his ability to lead and organise the defence. Calderim. And it's Yilmaz. It's Yilmaz! Good hit, kept the keeper honest. Jorginho plays it forward. That's good progress. Al Sharawi! He's done very well to get to that. Al Sharawi simply didn't do anything wrong. He was thwarted by brilliance. Spinazzola. Throw it. Aimed in towards the centre. Played out to the right. Florenzi. get the direction he needed I have to commend the wing plate but I have to condemn the defending they've got to stop the cross he tries to get it forward quickly it's come loose Sunchu so it is still nil nil Well, to step in there, that was more than necessary. Jorginho. Yeah. 
Spinazzola. And it's played forward. And it's Insignia. Insignia going full steam ahead down the left flank. Well, defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Calderim. Yasichi. Hit long and direct. Keeper's ball. Soyuncu positions himself well and cuts it out. El Sharawi. And it's Insignia. Stop. Zaniolo is very sporting here to acknowledge the quality of the save. A lovely little footballing moment. And the assistant referee has his flag raised for offside. Down by a lack of accuracy. Decent looking ball. And that'll go straight through to the keeper. It's all a little short of forward momentum, lacking thrust. Hoists it forward. Dashing forward at pace. Zaniolo. El Sharawi. Now it's Immobile. This is promising. It's El Sharawi! Same again, same outcome. Italy really are in the ascendancy here, and they know they have to register while that's the case. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. really just wasn't quick enough then well his thinking certainly wasn't didn't make use of what I felt were and Freeze had a look and he's blown his whistle for half time so both sides have drawn blanks and have toiled at times but it's not been a bad game by any means the midway point of the game Italy really did turn up the tempo at the end of the half and while they would be disappointed not to have broken through obviously the chances will come provided they can keep producing good spells it's been a half with significantly more positives than negatives I feel interesting half just missing goals so don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break nil nil so we're already into the second period Italy clearly have been the better side for me yeah I know the score doesn't quite reflect it but if they go about their game in the, in the same manner as the opening 45 minutes, things really should improve. And here's Insignia. He's got options out wide. Up he gets! Just off target. Immobile certainly could have and should have made more of that. Forward it goes. Been one straight back. Yasichi. And here's Purak Yilmaz. And that's 
caused the worry or two. Good effort, very good effort. He would have at least wanted to make the keeper work, though. That's a poor kick by the keeper, he's just given it straight back. Yasichi. Still nothing to reflect upon in terms of goals here, it is 0-0. Chalhanolu. Now the counter. Soyuncu did well to emerge with the ball. That's a contest to keep an eye on. <laughs> Turkey have plenty in the middle. They've planned to defend the aerial route and will do so with numbers. And it's played forward. Hoists it forward. That's great strength on the ball. A Serbi gets it back. Good run, ultimately thwarted by an astute piece of defending. Crowd appreciates good football all round there. Sernchu, nil-nil the score, and we're just about done. A deeply frustrating game. Going for goal! Big relief, it just needed better contact. Turkey have found chances hard to come by, so that's perfectly understandable. Italy have turned to their bench and we're going to have a substitution. Well, the referee's seen the board and he's going to allow a double change to go ahead now. Well, that's where he wants it. Nicely measured pass. It's Yilmaz! That has certainly tested the keeper. Well, as Tesco, Peter, the keeper has just received an A-plus grade. Calderim. More than... Whistle's gone, that's a foul. And it's Chalhanolu. In with the challenge. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. Well, Sharawi, can he get through? Italy merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. Lorenzo Insigne. Saniolo plays it forward. Italy showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. And here's Burak Yilmaz. Jorginho with a definite foul there. Burak Yilmaz. Goes for goal! Well, even for him, 
That may have been a touch ambitious. Could move up a gear here. Yazici. Yazici goes looking. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last fling. Well, what we're witnessing now just goes against the grain. They're not going to get back into the game like this. Final seconds, this has to be it. And the assistant referee rightly gives him offside. You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. Offside again. Well, no question as to who's winning the battle in midfield at the moment. Some very impressive pressing in place here. And time is up. Not ideal, but not the worst start at all. It's an opening day draw. And after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? It could have been both better or worse, so a draw will be a happy compromise, I think, to open their group account. It always helps to have something to build on, and I think this will do nicely. Wales clock in for their very first appearance at these championships. A special anniversary edition, in fact, games held across multiple nations. A true pan-European tournament that is a reflection of the pan-European nature of the game. And this is where it all starts for them. 11 players, many of them friends, some foes during the league season, now united for a single cause as they carry the hopes and expectations of a nation in this grand quadrennial event ahead of us a month of non-stop adrenaline rush i trust you are strapped in comfortably for what will be at least for partisan parties the most unbearable thrilling of emotional roller coasters well this really is a great venue it adds so much character to every game it stages So it is upon us, their opening game, and what they hope will be the first of many fine games in this championship. All I hope is that these nations, as well as the players, of course, can make a good account of themselves. And I also like the fact that such excitement isn't just something that one host country has the monopoly of. It's shared by so many people across the continent, literally, and that certainly created a, an extra special buzz. Things have got underway here pretty promptly. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? Uh, a fairly easy choice for me, this one, Aaron Ramsey. Uh, what has helped him to elevate his game is the timing of his forward running. He's transformed his contribution from good to great since he increased his appetite for goals. And boy, can he score a beauty. OK, interesting. Steered forward, and now the breakaway. Hoists it forward. Beautifully done. Bale chooses to go back. Shot at goal! deflection but he's claiming it <laughs> 
Wales have an early lead. Good start. Bale gets it back. Bale is the guilty party there. Brooks is steaming forward. What an adventurous run from a defender. He's gone for it! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. Oh, no, that was a chance. What a chance. Seferovic. And it's played forward. And Bolo really just wasn't quick enough then. Well, his thinking certainly wasn't. Didn't make use of what I felt were some very good options. And it's Rodriguez. Well positioned to make that interception. Finds himself eased off the ball. Yeah, he's fouled him there. Switzerland seem happy to let their strikers roam out wide. I wouldn't want that. No? no well, my worry is that their, their main threat is being... Is that a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. Hardly anything between the sides, and it's 1 0. Seferovic. Granite Chaka. Forward it goes. And it's Mbolo. It has gone through to. It's one! Switzerland produced a lovely sequence of passes there. It's a terrific brand of football to watch, and importantly, it is a strong end product. That has certainly made things interesting. Well, they're back on level terms, so the guessing game goes on. As to what will happen from here, I've no idea. Alan. He's got options out wide. Has a goal! He's pulled off a fine save. Bale really must have felt he had the measure of the keeper then, but how wrong he was. Well, the opening goal did come from a corner. Now then. Great leap! Just off target. A more than decent attempt, Peter. Tries to get it forward quickly. Shakiri. Shakiri. Hoists it forward. And the counter is on. Plays it out to the flank. And here's a... He's gone for it! 
Oh, that was no routine save. And Bolo is very sporting here to acknowledge the quality of the save. A lovely little footballing moment. Oh, smart save. And it's Seferovic. Brooks. Uh, the ball needed to be better there. It's a wasted chance. I think that's offside. Yes, it is. And it's Mbolo. Goes for goal! Just swings wide. Oh, and it's such a good effort. And maybe the target really should have been hit. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Oh, he's caught him there, it's a free kick. Last-ditch defending, but that'll do. That intervention was very necessary. Bale. Bale. No, that's over hit. And we hit half time. Well, it has been an even contest, as the scoreline suggests, and it has been more than decent to watch. And we are up to the break. Oh, what a half of football. It's 1-1, but it could easily be 3-3 three, three or, or more. Great next speed, brilliance. It's a really interesting game, and they head in at half-time at 1-1. One, one. So it's back to business. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Oh, Peter, his body shape was a giveaway before he made the pass, and its obviousness was, was appreciated. And it's Rodriguez. Rodriguez with the crossfield ball. How about a shot? Shapes to shoot! Oh, that's a terrific save from the keeper. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. Out of play for a throw. Pass needed to be better than that, and he knows it. Forward it goes. It's all a little short of forward momentum, lacking thrust. Ramsey. Bale. 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 Turns and goes back. Ramsey! Oh, denied brilliantly! Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeper. Now a chance to break. Ramsey, out to the left it goes. Bale. Interference is very necessary. <laughs> and it's Ramsey. Bale. He's had a shot! A 
potential goal of the season contender, if only. Gale might possibly be accused of a little selfishness, but his endeavour was to be admired. Ramsey. This is promising. And here's Bale. Bale. Oh, whistle's gone. Now then. Well, the referees decided that he was fouled outside the box, and it is just a free kick. Well, if he truly fancies his chances from here, he's going to need the best of the best. Bale. Bale! And oh! Danger averted for now. That'll be a throw in. Bale swung over into the middle. Another chance from a corner. Oh, shooting chance! But not much of one. Davis delivers. Defending of the desperate variety. Balls loose. Who's getting there? Allen pings it out wide. He's left his man. Bale could challenge. Excellent challenge. Well, the defense got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Switzerland showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. And the whistle has gone for a reckless challenge there. Well, the ref's been lenient here. I doubt he'll get too many more chances. So here comes the substitution. Allen, who got amongst the goals, is being taken off now. Well, has he done enough since his goal? Is the feeling that he's lost his appetite for another? It's difficult to be sure exactly what the thinking is, but his race is certainly run now. Switzerland merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. Shakiri has made his mark on this game. Shakiri is onto it and can take it up. Oh, that's nice. Shakiri looking to run onto it. Can he deliver? Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. Driving on now. What can they conjure from here? Promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. That's a pop! Oh, it's in! And that may just do it! Now looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway.
Having turned the game on its head, now can they hold out? There's still a bit left in it, Peter, but they should find the necessary to avoid a slip-up now. And here's Mbolo! It's Mbolo! And he nearly went all the way. Well, at least the crowd are appreciative of his efforts. Granit Xhaka. And time is up. Well, it's a pretty poor start, there's no disguising it. All they can do is to try to recover it from here on in. It is a tough test. What are your thoughts on today's...